Hello Scorpios, this is your monthly for January 2019. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new to the channel, welcome. Please hit the like button, share the video, subscribe to the channel. This is a general read, so it will not resonate for everyone. If you're interested in a personal, oh goodness, um, that information is below the video. Okay. Let's see. Let's see what we got going on from Scorpios. Scorpios. I'm going to do a Celtic cross, guys. So when I do it, I'm going to lay the cards uh, face down. That way we can look at them together, okay? You'll know when I know. Let's see. Because sometimes when I turn all the cards over at once, I get like this flood of, of information. It's like I only have... I allow myself so much time to do a reading so they won't be too long and um, I find myself wanting to be long-winded so <laughs> I'm gonna kill that all right let's see how you see yourself hmm you're working on something hmm I feel like um, you're very focused you're very focused it's like you have your eye on the prize here the three of pentacles this is working with other people this could be a job definitely um, you guys some of you have have gotten a new job some of you have just entered into a relationship I feel and um, you're excited about it I feel okay let's see what the energy around you is oh yeah <laughs> um, you know, trying to build a legacy, trying to have this relationship, if this is a relationship where you um, you complement each other, and I mean complement as in you go well together. Um, I feel like this is a relationship where you guys respect each other, you respect each other's space, you respect each other's way of thinking. Um, this is good. This is good. Let's see what your challenge is. And if this is a job, I see you. I see you banking. You know, I see this. I see this working out well for you. Whatever situation this is, whether it's a job or whether it's relationship, what is your challenge here? Wow, lots of pinnacles, Scorpio. Hmm. I feel like your your challenge is to continue to not only work on this relationship or this job situation but to continue to work on yourself because again we're all just works in progress okay nobody's perfect um i think in you know in a relationship you have to constantly not really be on your toes but you have to constantly be mindful of another person because there again you're in a relationship so it's not just you that you have to take into account into consideration all right let's see why you're here because uh, I feel like, um, not really that you're tired of being single, but you're tired of being single. Yeah, the single life's good. You're confident. Um, you, you know, you your, your money's good. So now it's like, okay, well, I'm good. I want to involve someone else in the mix. All right. This, this is good. This is good. We have Virgo energy here. Um, Virgo strong for some of you Scorpios. Huh. Okay. Let's see in the past. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um This makes you truly happy. There was something about this person that um or this job cuz again, this could be a job cuz I'm not really getting either one just yet light like specifically because I still have four other cards to turn over so we'll we'll get the full picture here no five cards turn over but anyway this is um, basically something has been you've been enlightened um, there's something about the situation that you see as fruitful you see as you know this 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 is longevity here there is commitment here. I see strong commitment here. 
Okay, let's see what the best possible outcome is. Oh, wow. Look at you. Look at you. Look at you. Um, you will be that rock. You will be um, someone's rock. They will be yours. Someone's husband or wife. Potentially. I'm not saying that you guys are like, you know, running to get married. But um, this is... This is wonderful. This is somebody that likes to travel. They like to go out. They like to have a good time. Um, and basically, so does a Nine of Pentacles. You know, they like to be seen. Um, they just like to enjoy life. This is also, you know, a business owner. Okay. Hmm. In the near future, there is a change coming here. There is a shift. This is ending something, transforming some energy, um, transforming energy that is um, that's not serving you any longer. So I'm getting the feeling that this probably has more to do with the relationship and changing this single status. Is what I'm getting. Because there will be a change here. Let's see what the outside influence is, okay? Hmm. Hmm. There's something that you are making happen. Because this is your card, Scorpio. There's some. There's a shift that you are initiating that you're making happy. I mean, happen. Or either there is um, a Gemini Virgo in the midst that is manifesting this situation, manifesting the hell out of this situation, okay? Um, but this is this is great. This is great. And your hopes and fears, you don't you this is perfect for you. I feel like you're you're in this you're in this state of mind where your situation is ideal and you don't want anything to interfere with that. You don't want anyone to cheat on you. You don't want anyone to lie on you know, to lie to you. Um, you don't want to be betrayed. And I think you're feeling that way because you're feeling very vulnerable because you're falling in love. Because that's the only time when you really feel like that vulnerable where you're thinking about, oh my gosh, I love this person or I'm really feeling this person, but I just pray they don't hurt me because you know I'm wearing my heart on my sleeve kind of thing, you know? Let's see what the best, the overall outcome is. Huh. You know, it's a five of pentacles. And I just get from this card that if you look at this card, there's a glare on here. God dog it. There are two people here, right? Nobody's running. They're standing there and it looks like, you know, this is a very humble setting where they don't have much, but guess what? They're still right there together. So what that's telling me is in the outcome, the overall, overall outcome is that regardless of what you guys go through, I feel like you will be able to tough it out. You will be able to tough it out, I feel. As long as this is your challenge, okay? As long as you continue to work not only on the relationship, but work on yourselves, okay? I think this is beautiful, Scorpios. I really, really do. I think this is absolutely beautiful. So, uh, my Scorpio friends, I will be speaking with you soon. And um, this is your monthly. Good luck, guys.